Welcome back, friends, to TV5 News at 9. It is time now for Design Time. Get your cell phones out because we have a QR code coming your way. You can just scan that code for all of the information about today's topic. And we are talking about mid-century modern today. I'm here with Kathy, Tri-City Furniture. How are you, Kathy? I'm doing great. We are so glad to see you. Okay, so Kathy's taking us to school, guys. Kathy, tell us, what is mid-century furniture and when did it gain popularity? Well, mid-century comes from the mid-20th century. Okay. So it actually pulled from the 30s, the 40s, 1930, 1940, 50s, all the way to the late 60s. Mm. And so anything in that time frame yeah. really was considered mid-century. Now, someone wrote an article about that, and they added the word modern. But part of that came from the character of it, where it was thin, sleek, bright colors. Mm. So there was some certain characters about mid-century, and they actually gave it a style like we might have called traditional. And so that's when it actually came out. If you can remember your grandparents' living room, that's what it was. Right. So is this sofa considered mid-century modern? Yes. Okay. Because it has the thin arm, okay. it is lower to the floor. And back in that day, furniture sat lower to the ground. It has metal legs, but yeah. any sleek leg, anything that was on an angle, those were all characteristics of mid-century. And the modern has that flair because that's still what modern is, is sleek, and, and it has natural effects. So we found it in the browns, in the textures, mm -hmm. brown leathers. So lots of things, organic shapes, but the character was having the legs. Okay, so what about table accents? Well, you know what I look at, and these tables are very mid-century. They're up on legs, they have a very thin angled leg. and I, always wondered, you know, is it from easier cleaning, you know, to oh, run the vacuum? Right. Kind of thought that yeah. because my grandmother cleaned all the time, that was easier. But actually said that they were coming out of wartime mm. and people were ready for a fresh look. Mm. And it actually was space age. And so I think now about the Jetsons and some of the sleek lines, but it was the space age that actually influenced a lot of mid-century modern. Mm -hmm. Now the popularity of it today is from the younger, and I think a lot of times they're getting pieces handed down, mm -hmm. and so it has some of that character. Yeah. Now are these styles easy to find today? Pretty easy. Most of the manufacturers are making something okay. in mid-century. Now they're blurring it a little, maybe not this thin of an arm, maybe not the metal leg, okay. but they're, they're offering something to give that kind of a character. And because of the lowness of it, and it was usually deeper, mm -hmm. they, they are maybe not as popular with older generation, but the younger love this because mm -hmm. it's comfortable, it's sleek, it fits into apartments, uh, condos. So when you don't have as much space, mid-century is a very good option because of the footprint yeah. is very small. What else do you want us to know about mid-century? Well, just if you're going to do it, yeah. make sure you get the color because the color is the key to mid-century. It was not beige and gray. It was very bright colors. These oranges, lime green. Walls were painted colors. They're not whites. So we saw that evolution of people living in their homes, being a happier time in the middle of that century and feeling more safe. Colors make us happy. So when we think about the fall colors right. in Michigan, those are things that we really like. And so we bring it into the house. And mid-century had very, very strong colors. So keep that in mind. You know, decorations were minimal. These lamps were just, they just happened to come in and I looked at them and went, whoa, those are like 100 years old because they were that shape at that time. Don't overdo the accessories. You know, the, the common thing was not an ottoman, but a coffee table. 
and magazines were on the coffee table. Right. So again, it's a little bit different than what we would normally do today, but it was a very fresh look. And at that time, so now when we come back, it's not as overly poofy, it's very, very more uh, angular. And so those kind of characters are what you want to do, especially if your house has some character of mid-century. So if you don't know what to do, what to buy, <laughs> there are so many options out there with fabric, sofas, chairs, make sure that you come on out, get a plan together, Kathy and her team can definitely help you out with that. Yeah. Thank you, Kathy. I would tell you, too, yeah. that recliners at that time yeah. were not near as popular. People use more small, sleek chairs and stuff. So, again, yeah. the pieces you're yeah. using are real important as yeah. well as the design and color. And you'll be able to tell people what is We the would help them, them yeah. yes. Okay. No problem. Thank you, Kathy. Thank, Thank you. you. Peace of mind is what it's all about. You come see Kathy. And... Viewers, thank you so much for tuning in to this edition of Design Time.